The commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Ukraine, Oleksandr Syrsky, said that Ukraine has a realistic plan for the return of Crimea. However, for obvious reasons, the military commander cannot give the details. Retired British colonel Hamish Stephen de Breton Gordon told the 24 Channel that he agreed with the opinion of the Ukrainian lieutenant general. According to him, Ukraine can really deoccupy the peninsula and this will be the end for Putin. The naval forces destroyed the Russian Black Sea Fleet, which was defending Crimea. Ukraine is gaining more and more control over the air, taking into account the new air defense systems and the arrival of the F-16 aircraft in the near future. If Ukraine gains air control over Crimea, this will allow ground forces, tanks, armored personnel carriers to have the freedom of maneuver to liberate the occupied peninsula. I believe that Crimea is definitely within Ukraine's reach in the next few months. Discussion of this is useful because Putin knows that if he loses Crimea, it will be the end for him, the retired British colonel said. Then, in his opinion, a peaceful settlement can be achieved earlier. Therefore, Crimea is definitely in the field of view of the generals in Kyiv and there is a very real opportunity to return it. What can be the deoccupation of the peninsula? Hamish Stephen de Breton Gordon noted that the liberation of Crimea is likely to occur in a combination of land and sea operations, increased pressure on the Russians and long-range strikes. Ukraine apparently would like to return Crimea with the least losses, but this will be a big challenge, said the retired British colonel. Ukraine controls the Black Sea and gets more air control, it becomes quite possible. He is sure that Ukraine wants to return Crimea with the least damage to its troops. That's real. I could not say it six to twelve months ago, the expert stressed. In the Volgograd region, a passenger train traveling from Kazan to Adler derailed. According to eyewitnesses, after a collision with a Kamaz at an unregulated crossing, nine carriages with people overturned, and there are many casualties. A source in the Kotelnikovsky District Administration said, there is a railroad crossing on the approach to Kotelnikovo. It has a traffic light, but no barriers or gates. It is still unknown how exactly it all happened, but it is possible that the Kamaz ended up on this crossing and the train crashed into it. The truck driver was hospitalized, the press service of the main directorate of the Ministry of Internal Affairs for the Volgograd region reported. According to RIA Novosti, ambulance crews are working at the scene of the accident. In the first minutes after the emergency, Andrei Bacharov, the head of the Volgograd region held an operational meeting set tasks to provide all necessary assistance to the train passengers and eliminate the consequences of the emergency. There were 812 people on the train. The number of victims is being clarified. An operational headquarters has been created, Andrei Bacharov was quoted as saying by the press service of the governor's office. There are 324 specialists and 109 units of equipment working on site. The shot telegram channel, citing its source, reports, 37 people, including 6 children, were injured in the train crash, four were hospitalized. According to Schott, one of the victims, a woman, had her legs trapped, and emergency services are currently trying to get her out. According to the service that allows tracking train movements online, the train arrived at the Volgograd, one station 47 minutes late and departed, having played back 12 minutes. The last point where the train checked in was the Gremyukea station on the approach to Kotelnikovo, which it passed with a delay of 45 minutes.